Hi, in this video of the ADLM 2000 series, we'll talk about the power supply and voltmeter instruments and their features. We'll set up our power supplies and make sure that they are operating correctly using Scopey's voltmeter. The power supply instrument uses the V plus and V minus pins of the ADLM 2000 to implement one positive voltage supply ranging from 0 to plus 5 volts and one negative voltage supply ranging from minus 5 to 0 volts. Both supplies may provide up to 15 milliamps of current. The voltmeter uses the two differential analog input channels capable of measuring signals ranging from minus 25 to plus 25 volts at a sample rate of 100 mega samples per second. Plug in your device using the USB connector in the middle, open Scopy and click the connect button. In order to work with the two instruments, they must be linked. We'll do this by making the following connections, V plus to 1 plus and 1 minus to ground. V minus to 2 plus and 2 minus to ground. To open the power supply tool, you have to click the corresponding button from Scopy's instrument list. In the main window, you can find the digital display and the controls for the positive and negative outputs. The values of the outputs are shown in the central part of the screen. When each output is enabled, Scopy will continuously measure back the voltages applied on the V plus and V minus pins. For the positive output, the two orange digital indicators represent the value in volts currently being set and the value in volts that is measured back. For the negative output, these indicators are purple. Below each indicator pair, the measured value is graphically displayed on a scale. Both the positive and the negative outputs can be controlled from the menu on the right. As units for the desired voltage value, you can select volts or millivolts. You can increment or decrement the value using the plus minus buttons, edit the value and change the units for the output voltage. When editing, you can also specify the measurement unit like shown. To enable the supplies, you must click the corresponding enabled buttons. Clicking the center of the spin button will activate the fine tuning. When your mouse is hovering over the knob, you can also adjust the value by scrolling. The tracking ratio control provides the following options, independent and tracking. By selecting the independent mode, the positive and negative outputs can be independently controlled by setting their values from the menu on the right and then clicking the corresponding enable button. The tracking option allows you to express the negative output as a function of the positive output. In this mode, the negative output channel is enabled and disabled dynamically at the same time as the positive channel. We can also verify that the power supplies are operating correctly using Scopy's voltmeter. To access the tool, click its corresponding button from the tools menu on the left. In the main window, you'll find the history plot, digital display and the control menu. In the top right corner, there is a run stop button, which can be used to start and stop the acquisition for the two channels. With the instrument turned on, we should be measuring the voltage values we set to the two power supply pins. AC or DC modes may be set independently for each channel. The AC mode will display the VRMS value of the signal. This mode is optimized for frequencies between 20 Hz to 40 kHz. The DC mode will display the VDC value of the signal from minus 25 to plus 25 volts. The voltmeter features one voltage over time history plot per channel. This can be independently enabled and disabled by toggling the on-off switches on the right. By default, the plot will represent 10 seconds of data. The controls below the on-off switches will allow you to choose the history duration between the three options. 1 second, 10 seconds and 60 seconds. The graphical representation of the voltage value over time for each channel is displayed on the history plot, where the voltage amplitude is plotted on the x-axis and the time is plotted on the y-axis. You can change the thickness of the lines displayed for each channel independently. The pick hold functionality can be enabled or disabled using the on-off switch from the menu on the right. The minimum and maximum values are visible on the digital display and can be reset using the reset button. The pick and hold values are shown above the digital display of each channel. Another feature of the voltmeter instrument is data logging. This can be enabled or disabled using the on-off switch from the menu on the right. 
by clicking the Browse button, you can choose a file for data logging. The voltmeter can overwrite or append to the selected file by checking one of the options located below the file selector. The timer spin box sets the log frequency. The values range from 0 seconds to 1 hour. Setting 1 hour will log a value on the hour, while 0 seconds will log each value to the file. These are the features of the voltmeter and power supply tools. The upcoming videos will handle the other instruments of Scopy. For more resources and information on the ADLM2000 module and Scopy, please visit wiki.analog.com. If you have questions that these videos do not provide an answer to, please feel free to ask us on the Engineer Zone forum in the Virtual Classroom section. You'll find links to several helpful pages in the video description. Thanks for watching!